Welcome back to Health Bulletin. Here's what you need to know about the deadly salmonella outbreak linked to cantaloupes. Hundreds of people in the US and Canada have been infected, and at least 10 people have died. In a growing outbreak of salmonella poisoning, linked to contaminated whole and pre-cut cantaloupe. That's especially important for individuals who are vulnerable to serious illness from salmonella, infection, and for those who come in direct contact with it while handling. High-risk groups include young children, people older than 65, and those with weakened immune systems. The US Centers for Disease Control and Prevention is especially concerned because many of the illnesses have been severe and also because victims include people who ate cantaloupe served in childcare centers and long-term care facilities. Here's what we know about this outbreak. So far, at least 302 people in the US and 153 in Canada have been infected in this outbreak. This includes four fatalities and 129 hospitalizations in the US. Six fatalities and 53 hospitalizations have been reported from Canada the first U.S. case was a person who fell ill on Oak T-16, according to the CDC. The latest illness detected occurred on Novran 28. Canadian health officials said people fell ill between mid-October and mid-November. The cantaloupes implicated in this outbreak include two brands, Militia and Rudy, that are grown in the Sonora area of Mexico. So far, more than 36,000 boxes or cases of cantaloupe have been recalled. On DECA-15, Mexican health officials temporarily closed a melon packing plant implicated in the outbreak. Roughly one-third of FDA-regulated human food imported into the U.S. comes from Mexico, including about 60% of fresh produce imports. Health officials in the U.S. and Canada are still investigating, but cantaloupes generally are prone to contamination because they are netted melons with rough, bumpy rinds that make bacteria difficult to remove. Salmonella bacteria are found in animals' intestines and can spread if their waste comes in contact with fruit in the field. Poor hygienic practices of workers, pests in packing facilities, and equipment that's not cleaned and sanitized properly can also lead to contamination. The Mexico growing area saw powerful hurricanes. In late summer and early fall that resulted in flooding, that could be a factor. Once the melons are contaminated, the nubby rinds harbor nutrients that can help the salmonella bacteria grow. If the cantaloupe become moldy or damaged, the bacteria can move from the outside of the rind to the inner layer or into the flesh. How should consumers handle cantaloupe? It is difficult to remove disease-causing bacteria from cantaloupe at home. Food safety experts recommend rinsing whole melons in cool water and scrubbing them with a clean produce brush and then drying completely. Blanching the cantaloupes briefly in very hot water is another method, Suslow said. And researchers found that household items such as vinegar and iodine diluted in water could reduce exterior contamination with salmonella by 99%. For high-risk people, it might be best to avoid cantaloupe, especially pre-cut cantaloupe and especially during an outbreak. Thank you for powering our mission to deliver vital medical insights. Every subscription like and share not only drives our dedication, but makes you a crucial part of our journey to deliver impactful and life-saving medical content. Thanks for watching. 